I wanted to encourage you to play with the data that uh, we recorded the other day. Actually, I'm cheating. It's the data that I recorded a few hours before the class as I rehearse at home the experiment of EE ECG. So if you go on, a, on the website of the course and you go to resources and then on uh, notebooks, you will see that I added another notebook that it's called Like a Frog. And just before launching it, opening in Collab, I would like to show you that there is a new folder called data in which there is a zipped file called data ecg dot. So electrocardiogram, electromyogram, October 2024 is a zip file and it contains text files. You could be maybe brave and download it on your computer. Just simply clicking here and then clicking on this uh, button, download raw file. If I click, it will be downloaded to my computer. Maybe I can unzip it and I will be able to see that this guy here is just a folder and this folder contains um, text files. And if I maybe double click on a text file, I will see that it is a combination of numbers. But we will get, uh, we will get to that uh, later, at the later stage. Yeah. So these are two columns. There is, seems to be a couple of lines, or oh, sorry, the, third, the, the three, first three lines that are containing some sort of header or explanation and all the rest is a collection of, of points. Let me go back to the browser and to the notebooks. So if you click here, it will open it on your uh, Google Collab. It, you need to have, um, you need to have um, a Google account. And you will be presented with a notebook. I invite you to read what it is in the other the other so in um, among the other notebooks you have also an intro to markdown so you can launch it by clicking here you could download it to your computer if you are brave and if you have installed uh, jupyter app that you could you could then load it or even if you install visual studio code that's also something that you could do but anyway let's keep it simple using google collab you have a given number of text cells like this one. I'm using the dark mode because I'm cool, but I will probably prefer changing to um, changing to light. Let's see where it is. Where is it? Maybe it's here. No. Team. Haha. Apologies. It's the light team. Ha. So you have a few cells that are containing text. You see it's a style text. It's italic. It's bold. I invite you to read. This is nothing else than an, an excuse to play with data, to have you play with data, an encouragement to get your hands dirty. You have cells that are non-text and they are basically code but if they start with the exclamation mark these are commands they are not statements in python for instance and these commands as it is uh, is commented by these lines that are preceded by the hash uh, symbol is downloading the zip file on the google collab page so i can press here of course, I'm trusting Michele Giuliano. And then in a moment, it will, you will see that it will connect to a computer in the cloud. So it's not going to be using your own computer. It downloaded the file. And then we launch another command to unzip the file. Let me show you what's happening here. So this data.zip was downloaded. I unzip it. And now I have, if I refresh, I have several text files. I can click here twice. And again, this is a text editor. I invite you not to touch this file, so not to change 
anything, but say it's a text editor and you can see that these are two columns of numbers. So apparently the first one must be time in seconds and the second one uh, was the channel that was recorded. It was just one, only one trace, millivolt, right? Oh, it's written here, cool. Now you can maybe list the files. So there are the files are listed here. Forget about these one with underscore Mac OS X. These are uh, housekeeping files that uh, being on a Mac, I inadvertently created. Next. We can, yeah, we can list only the txt files, the files that are ending with txt, and the file name is uh, whatever, with, a, with this asterisk is, is mean whatever. And now we write some Python. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible using one library that is Plotly Express, that is the, the most, the, the simplest as possible, and then a library that is a numerical library, it's called NumPy, and allows to have numerical operation. Mostly here it's used because of numerical arrays or vectors. So I can click, the execution is almost instantaneous, zero seconds. Here I am setting a string to one of the file names, so all the others are commented. So if I don't like this one, I can put a comment here and I can uh, uncomment another one. And you see here, it's basically, it's using a command that is from the library NumPy to load a text file. And if you put your, your mouse here, you will get some help even on what this function is doing. I want it to read the file name and I want to ignore or skip the first three rows. And then being this one, a b-dimensional array, I just want to have two vectors, one for the times and one for the uh, signal, for the electrostatic potential that I recorded from my heart. So I execute it and you see it's very fast, very, very fast. And finally I plot it. So here it's already the remnant of the previous, uh, uh, the previous plot, but we changed the file so it's probably gonna look different. And you see this is purely aesthetics. I want to have nice title uh, and uh, or, uh, nice uh, x uh, uh, axis label, y axis label. So I'm, I'm just uh, changing these two things, but you can ignore it. You can, you can possibly remove it. And then you basically create a new figure that is a line plot where the x, so the independent variable is the vector that is time that was containing all the rows, first column, and, and as y is all the rows, second column column. Remember Python starts counting from zero. As a title is I want the file name so that it's just a string, it's ready, and with labels, my labels. And what it's here is just to make a little bit more spicy changing things in red, in the color, and making it the width uh, of, the, of the trace being three point. And then you see if I click here, it will be executed. So this is when I was at some point contracting my muscle so that the electrodes were on my arm, they were not anymore on my chest. And you see here that the variance of the signal seems to change because they are here, of course now it's not working, but this uh, library should allow you to do zooming in and like this. It's probably slow because I'm recording. And you see there, are, it seems that there are some sort of synchronized waves that are related to my uh, to my muscles. And because here you have time here in seconds, you could probably see how fast these waves are, are, uh, are happening. And this is up to you now. You can copy paste or even modify here so you, you will always know where to find it. You can save it in your own, uh, in your own drive or in your own um, uh, Google Collab and you can start playing. So the first thing that I would do, I would change the color in blue to see how it looks. It looks better and the width maybe three is too much. What about one? Oh, it seems more, more, more elegant. Um, maybe something that you can reflect is why the trace looks funny. Uh, so it seems that, that, so it's like a sort of jagged. It seems that is um, uh, technically uh, is uh, 
seems to be digitized. So it seems that you have only an integer number of levels of here, millivolts, where the trace can be. And the more I zoom, the more I realize that, well, you can be here, you can be here, but not in between. It seems that you cannot be in between. Well, another thing that I could try, I would Google this Plotly Express library that I didn't know before uh, half an hour ago, but I, I found it that it's the simplest with, with its syntax. I can probably see whether scatter exists. And scatter presumably will not connect things by a line. So if I zoom in, yeah, I don't like it. And then, okay, I will put back uh, line and maybe I will, uh, I will change here the title. This is my title. And I will run it again. And yeah, so it's not impossible for me to roughly understand what's happening. And maybe I can comment this one and uncomment this. I execute it. I execute the second one so that I have a new plot from the new files. And he, this is a quite uh, long, it's almost one minute recording of my ECG. And oh, this is cool. I mean, it seems that I there is some structure here before there is a small blip. Uh, then there is this uh, excursions and then there is another wave. Hmm. And here I wrote some questions for you or ideas for exploration. And uh, you might have fun for maybe, uh, maybe a couple of hours if you're not particularly uh, skilled in Python. But at least maybe now you have problems to work on. And of course, you can count on me in case you have troubles. Good luck.